In this video, I wanted to show a different way to solve for the accelerations asked for in part B of the problem. This other method uses work and energy. So we start with the work energy equation. So we have work done by other forces plus the initial translational kinetic energy plus the initial rotational kinetic energy plus the potential energy equaling the sum of the final energies. Choose as the initial state, the state shown here, where everything is at rest. So there's no translational kinetic energy, there's no rotational kinetic energy. And if we identify this level as y equals zero, there's no gravitational potential either, ignoring mass one because it only moves sideways. And then the system is released, it falls. If we let mass two fall by a distance h, picking up a speed, v sub f, final speed, then mass one will slide horizontally the same distance, picking up the same speed, and the pulley will begin to rotate, reaching a final angular speed omega f. Between the initial and this final state, there's no work done by other forces. So on the left-hand side, we just have zero. On the right-hand side, we have two contributions to the kinetic energy from translation. Masses one and two are both moving at speed vf and a contribution from the rotation of the pulley. That's one half i omega f squared. Mass two has descended by a height h, so the final potential energy is minus m two gh. Rewriting the middle term on the right-hand side, we can substitute the moment of inertia of the pulley about its center, that's one half m r squared. So we have one half times one half m r squared, one quarter m r squared. And we can replace omega final with v final over r using v tangential equals r omega because the string rolls over the pulley without slipping and now we can cancel the r's from this expression and solve for v final squared the square of the final speed to get this expression the acceleration is constant so we can now find it using the time-independent kinematic equation shown here. Mass two starts from rest and descends a distance h. Solving for the acceleration a gives us this expression. Substituting numbers and calculating gives us an acceleration of minus 2.72 meters per second squared, the negative telling us that mass 2 accelerates down.